And Greg Mills is in Santa Rosa, California. Greg, tell us about the incredible scene just behind you right there. And Rena, it's, it's, it's something to see. I mean, it looks like something out of a movie, but uh, it is not one if you look at that. As far as you can see, there's not one house that is still standing. And I mean, we could turn this camera in every direction, Rena, and you would see the same sight. It just, it's unbelievable. Every single house is gone, and people that live here, they just, everybody's saying the same thing. I can't believe this happened. And they look at it and just in disbelief. Secondly, you got the wind kicking up. Uh, this is the one thing they've been worried about all night long was the fact that there was going to be stronger winds today, stronger than yesterday, certainly, as we discussed yesterday, and uh, but not quite to the uh, uh, strength of uh, Monday's winds. Those were 50 to 60 miles per hour. Backed off yesterday, and now we're getting winds coming back, but uh, not that strong yet. They're expecting about 30 to 40 miles per hour, but any kind of wind, even this light breeze they're getting right now, is not good when they're fighting a fire. Yeah, certainly is, and, and I want to ask you about the officials. How are they assessing the damage there behind you? Uh, well, they go around and, and they can assess, but you mean by like the, the amount of acreage, that type of thing, or what determine, are you talking about? You know, it just looks like a vast empty field there. How do they begin assessing people's damage when their homes are completely burned down to get them some relief? You know, I think they do, Rena. I think they've got to hold off in a situation like this because they're letting in some homeowners, but they're not letting everybody in for some reason. They're being very careful about who's coming in. They're very concerned about looters. And right now, I think they're just waiting until this whole thing is over and uh, who knows when this fire is going to end. But I think that is the time they'll do something about it. And homeowners are at a loss. Everyone I've spoken with says they don't know what the next step is. So they will need a lot of uh, help with uh, federal officials in, in finding out exactly what the next step is. And also, Greg, out of the 670 missing people, people right now. Only 110 have been found. How are fire officials responding to that? What are they doing? Well, here's the deal. You know, here, here in California, we're prepared for earthquakes and wildfires, and we're supposed to have a plan in place for what we're going to do with our family. Where are you going to go? Where are we going to meet up? Who are we going to contact? And the one problem is cell phone service is out in most of this area, so people can't get in touch. And if you didn't have a plan and this person goes that way, the other goes that way, no cell phone service, you don't know where they are. So probably all these people will be found eventually through natural methods, natural being cell phone service gets restored, mom calls son, son returns, that type uh. of thing. But the concern, obviously, is that until all 670 are accounted for, well, yeah, you can imagine. Absolutely. I can't even imagine, Greg. I want to ask you about the people also. Mm -hmm. The fact that so many are missing. There was criticism that it, the, the wildfires sprung up so quickly and many people didn't get advance notice. Are people still talking about that? They are still talking about that, Rena. They were talking about it yesterday. Uh, one homeowner that lost a, a house just said we just didn't get enough warning. They did get warning, but I don't know that they heated it mm. as quickly as they maybe should have. A lot of times in these fires, you know, we're told to evacuate and people don't do it quite fast enough. I don't know if that was the case here or if they didn't get enough warning. But there are a lot of people in this area who are complaining they didn't get enough warning. But then again, you get the warning, you still would have gotten the same result. I Absolutely. mean, sadly, it's just uh, you would have been able to get out and maybe take something else with you. But uh, they, everybody here just said it sprung up so quickly. The winds, you know, those 50 and 60 mile an hour winds yeah. just sprung up from nowhere. But uh, you did know that something was coming. Greg Mills, thank you so much for your reporting, Greg. You bet, Rena. Thank you.